fix a crack in the north bend for you. Thanks, sir. That's great. Thanks. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good. You're not living so hot. No, no, I'm, it's good. Fine. Maybe you should go back to your room, huh? Listen up. Dex. I need a skilled set of hands with me out there. I'll go. Dex needs to stay in case the turbines break down. Thank you, Sam. Anyone else? Bastard. Fucking, fucking, fucking bastard. What? What do you have to say to me? Hmm? You come here, you pretend to be my friend to watch me? To watch Charlotte die? What kind of fucking pathetic loser does that? I shook your hand. I saved your life. Sorry. sorry! You have the nerve to fucking say sorry? Oh my god. I killed your wife, I killed your kid, sorry! Fuck, you know what? Don't worry about it! I hate you! Do you get that? I fucking hate you! I hate you more than I hate myself. Make it better! I said, make it fucking better! You can be sorry when you make it better. Oh, right. <laughs> you can't! Can you? No, you can't! What? Oh, can't take it, huh? What are you gonna do? Hmm? You're gonna kill me now. Killed everyone else. So come on. Kill me now. Oh, excuse me, sir. Detectives Flores and Kowalski, you live here? Why? Sir, please answer my partner. Is this your home? Why? Slowly. Relax. Sergeant Brian Dudick. Are you here investigating Candy Kane's murder? What? No. Let me see your keys. You need to open this door, Sergeant. <sighs> All right. What do you want me to say? I was glad he was in pain. Why not? You're only human. I don't want to see anybody's baby hurt. But Sheldon never gave a damn about my kid and my wife. I understand that you suffered a great loss. But why would you blame the head of the company? Well, who do I look to, huh? I find my family dead because nobody tested a furnace. So whose fault is that? Some guy on the assembly line? Obviously, you blame Mr. Shelton. Yeah, the guy's a gazillionaire. He uses a 20-cent part when a two-buck part could have prevented this. Who makes a decision like that? Somebody has to take responsibility. Well, he claims that he apologized to you personally. Yeah, he left a message on my voicemail. You want the monkey off your back, don't you? Yeah, of course you do. And I'm here to help you. Do your homework? Yeah, it's, it's a jacket. Sorry, Ed, I didn't hear you. It's, uh, in, in my jacket. This is very good. Yeah. I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm glad to see you're taking this so seriously. All right. Ready for round two? Yeah. yeah. Does it, um, have to be my thumb? Oh, Ed, we've been through this before. If I used any one of these fingers, then you could go weeks avoiding feeling the benefits. Not your thumb. You're reminded every single day. <laughs> now close your eyes. I want you to recreate in your head the image of winning, the feeling. Let it start as a thought. Let it travel through. 
through your body. You're gambling. You're on a roll. <laughs> Vincent DeFerro. I'm with a client. I'm gonna have to take this outside it. I'm going to be doing two things. Vincent! I'm with clients. <laughs>